about to tell you guys how I was going to a meeting downtown today and all that wonderful stuff. But literally when I, my phone started ringing and I sat the camera down, the meeting's canceled. Apparently several people on the presenting staff are sick with the flu at home. Half the people that were supposed to be attending from our external partner have decided they're just not coming. Honestly, not surprised. This is not the first time they've done that. And so, yeah, not going downtown today, except I still have dinner plans with my friend. So, maybe I'm going to, I'm going to see if we can push our dinner plans off till tomorrow, actually, because tomorrow we're going to Polly G's down in Hamden, but tomorrow is their vegan takeover day. So that's my, that might be fun. I'm going to have to talk to her, but yeah, not going downtown anymore, which is kind of stinky yeah the view down there is beautiful so i love going down to the downtown office even though the drive is kind of meh yeah oh well that's my day show you my outfit i've got on a sweater from target i think this is j crew or j crew factory skirt from loft new shoes from they're nine west but i think they're from marshall's or something yeah i got them at marshall's uh, yeah, so I guess I'm making my own coffee and heading into the office now because oh, that's the other thing We had like really nice catering coming for the meeting. My hair is getting on my nerves so Since it was in a different office than we actually are usually in I had to call and be like hey Can you actually bring that to our office because it's too late to cancel the order? So now we're just giving the sales team a Feast I suppose I don't know. I guess I better take my Tupperware because there will be leftovers and we do these really nice salads and yeah, they're so good. Okay. Well, happy Thursday. <laughs> so we're at Polly G's what for the doing? vegan takeover night. I've got the heat is on. So has got the dollop parton. Very excited. She looks very, very I'm pumped excited. about that. I've talked about it twice. I need it. And then we're just waiting on Austin's. He got the, what was it called? I forgot. The vegan brisket. But it had a name. Yeah. The Jackie Brown. Thank you. It's got like jackfruit brisket. Mm -hmm. I can't wait like... to eat it. I wanted to give you guys a better look at the treats we bought. We have so many sweets right now. This is ridiculous. Austin stopped at Mom's the grocery store and got these carrot cupcakes. Those look really good. He also got sweet potato cake, which he already had some. He said that was really good. And then from Sweet Side Cafe in Hamden, we got this cupcake of chocolate frosting, and it's got little star sprinkles. Can you see that? It's so cute. And then we got this cookies and cream cupcake. Cupcake. It seriously looks like a giant like ice cream scoop hunk of cookies and cream frosting on top. With some little mini Oreos. That looks really good. And here are our macarons. I think I might. Oh, this container is totally upside down. Or maybe it wasn't. I don't know. I can't get it open. I'm going to try one of these macarons. That's probably the mint chocolate one. I don't remember what this one was. And then that was... That's clearly a chocolate chip. Let's try the mystery one. Flip my screen up. Okay, let's try this one that I don't remember what it is. Okay, I don't know, it doesn't have like a specific smell. Maybe it's just like a vanilla or something. I don't know, I can't pinpoint that. Hey babe. What flavor do you think this is? It's chicken flavored. Fingers crossed, Gladys Knight praised their Super Bowl performance as did their mentor, Beyonce. 
Beyonce discovered you too. She posted on social media. I'm so proud of Chloe. Like just Alley. vanilla or something? For you all to be discovered by Beyonce. I know you've gone on tour it's with It's not her. like super vanilla. Like knowing that she has been your mentor. We love Beyonce so, so much. I don't know. Neither one of us knows. Like family. It's not so like so supportive of us in our growth and how we are growing mm. not only as musicians but young women. I mean, it's good. I mean, it's good. Oh, sorry. Yeah, we've decided it's just vanilla. Mostly because we just don't know. <laughs> but I think that's all I'm going to eat tonight. I'm not feeling particularly hungry after eating pizza so i think we're probably going to what you really want more well i guess austin's gonna have more i think we're probably just gonna watch some more stargate okay so i'm gonna just throw it into this box i have the emails saying why everything is in the box right next to me so on top we have two things of grape tomatoes these are in the box because too many grew that's simple then we have some broccoli did i add the broccoli or was it part of this yes these were not the right color for stores they're actually pretty dark so more for me i love broccoli then we have two clamshells of basil, which I added one because I wanted to do maybe like a pesto or something this week. So I just got some basil. And then we have, let's see, we've got kiwis, two, four, five kiwis. No, nope. is there more? No, that's all the kiwis. So five kiwis, and the kiwis are in the box because oh they're organic kiwis and they're in here because they have a flat belly which means they didn't fit market specifications i.e people decided they didn't look nice on display they look like perfectly normal kiwis to me and then we have apples i feel like the box always has apples apples or pears let me see We've got four oh there's pears too uh, five apples. The apples made it into the box because these apples have some slight bruising and discoloration. There you go. Honestly, it's like tiny bruises. Like, that ain't gonna hurt nothing. Okay. And then we have pears. These are really big pears. So there's one, two, three pears gigantic pears i wonder if that's why they're in here because they're so big they didn't fit the standard size read too large yep so they were rejected by the stores more for me got a huge sweet potato um i think that's the only sweet potato so let's see hmm. no they sent mystery potatoes Randomly sized potatoes are okay, but I think that's these. They have sent these little red ones. So they could have sent me this giant sweet potato because lettuce was in the box and I have lettuce on mm, my do not send list because generally it's like a butter lettuce or like some sort of hydroponic type lettuce and I don't like that all that much. I don't know, it's a little delicate for my personal liking. I prefer crunchier lettuce. So I think that's what the sweet potato is. It's the replacement for the lettuce in the box. And then we got, I don't know, a bunch of potatoes. It's a pound of mystery potatoes. And then summer squash, a pound of that as well. Oh, the mystery potatoes are in the box because they're randomly sized. The summer squash is in the box because of the odd sizing. What else do we got in here? A cauliflower, which I believe I added on. Yes, I did add this on. I haven't had cauliflower in a while and I love it. And then we have three bell peppers. Did I add those on or were they part? No. Red, orange, green, or yellow bell peppers and could be any size or odd shape. 
So yeah, I'm fine with that. Then we have four avocados, which I added on because I go through about four avocados a week. So I usually get four in the box and then four at the store. And in here, what do we have? Mushrooms. Did I order these or add these? Yes, organic portobello mushrooms. So I, yeah, I ordered the portobello mushrooms. I think I must have ordered two of them, I guess. So two little paper bags of mushrooms. I think that's everything. Let's see. Yeah. Yep, that's everything on the list. So I'm gonna have, go ahead and put this all away. Um, but I guess before I do that, let me give you the Hungry Harvest spiel again in case you didn't see. I think it was like two or three videos ago where I talked about it. Hungry Harvest is a company that rescues food that would other be, well, otherwise be thrown away and end up in a dump somewhere. And it's perfectly fine, usable food. It's just it didn't meet a store standard or it was over ordered or a farmer sent more than they actually ordered. Stuff like that, random stuff, or maybe the, the, the vegetables are just slightly bruised, totally edible, I don't know, stuff like that. So I get the full size box that's mixed with fruits and vegetables every two weeks. And that seems to do fairly well for me in Austin. And yeah. Good food or vegans we eat tons of this stuff anyway so it works out really well i have a link that i'll put down below anyone can have this link you get the link as soon as you sign up for the box and i believe if you use my link to purchase a box then you get five dollars off and i get a five dollar credit or something like that so i actually just got a five dollar credit this morning because my friend suzanne and her her and her husband ordered their first box this week and it, they get a Saturday delivery too. So once your box is actually delivered, I get the credit and then you can give the link to all your friends too. Since it's a fairly new service, I mean, there's definitely good potential to get some credits on this, which is nice. But yeah, I think it's a great company and I'm gonna stop giving you the spiel and put this all away now. <sighs> I just did an hour on the treadmill. And I'm stanky, like, stanky. So are you gonna have a snack? No. Do you wanna go right to the store now? I should probably shower. Stanky, we might go to the store and look around for a pot. Like a cooking pot, not like a planting pot. I need to grind more coffee too. I don't wanna juice those oranges. Our coffee stash is a little sad, so I need to grind some more of that up. I'm all fresh now, having a cupcake. These are the cupcakes. Hopefully that's focusing. We got them at Mom's. They're made with love. Was that focusing? Yeah, I think so. Anyway. Mm. We're about to go up to the store. Marshalls or Home Goods, maybe. See if we can find a good quality pot. Trying to replace that one. We need to clean the stove off, I know. And yeah. That's about it. Trying to get out before it starts snowing because apparently it's gonna snow tonight, which is just freaking great because I have a lot to do at work tomorrow, so hopefully that doesn't really shut me in. We'll see. Yeah, I'll bring you guys along to the store. Our giant has so much vegan stuff. And it's the only place we can find day of pepperoni pizza. Everyone hates day of pizza. I don't. I love it. Can you grab me a pepperoni pizza? Nope. Look at all this good junk food. It's amazing. Are the barbecue wings new for Guardian? I've never seen those before. Okay, but can you get me a pepperoni one? What's it? 
it any? What? I'm just gonna try yours. I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Or not. Just get it. Just get them both. It's no big mm. deal. Well, I want to get a box of mac and cheese too while we're here. But not the frozen one, like the actual box one. Okay, sounds good. So we're home now. We also had to stop at PetSmart and get Kitty some food. It was so sad. I want to bring home all the kitties every time we go there. I want to show you guys what we got at Home Goods. So let me just get it out of the bag. Okay. We got this all clad pot. It is steel and aluminum for 70 bucks. It's listed for $200 online. And it's pretty much exactly what we went out shopping for. Like, we wanted to get a pot this size. So, it's perfect. Then we also got some saffron, which they wrapped up like crazy because that was only eight bucks so that was cool too now we're gonna make dinner i think austin's gonna have some guardian sliders did you put away any of the groceries i can start on them if you want to hand me the bag just putting the dishes away like a nice doobie okay so we went to giant and got some groceries so we got some Daya Mac, so we're gonna make some broccoli mac and share that. And then Austin got these sliders. He got ice cream too, but he got these sliders from Gardein, chicken sliders, which obviously not real chicken. He's gonna have them for dinner. I'm gonna have salad and some of that broccoli mac. We got some bananas, some orange juice, some kombucha. Some puff pastry, which it looks like should be entirely vegan. And because we're gonna try and make some like faux chicken pot pie. And then a day of pizza, because I love the day of pepperoni pizza, and I don't care if anyone else agrees. I like it. Yep, so that's everything we got at the store. Not too much. We didn't really need a lot. We honestly only needed bananas and orange juice, but we had a couple other things too. So I'm gonna put this all away. Here's how my dinner turned out. I've got a little bit of the broccoli mac. I just boiled the broccoli with the noodles and I think that that probably was the easiest way to do that. I just, I can't eat mac and cheese without broccoli anymore, it's so good. And then we have my salad. I'm just so in love with how well this camera films in low light. It looks fantastic. Anyway, I've got, um, grape tomatoes, chickpeas, olives, just a little bit, half of a half, so a fourth, duh, of an avocado, some romaine, and then there is some pear and olives too. And just like a vegan ranch. I forget what brand it was. Yeah, so good. I'm gonna chow down. I'm gonna be stuffed after this. Good morning, I look so blue. This is weird. That's some very odd coloring. Anyway, I am working from home today. It's Monday and I just had to get the camera out because these snowflakes are massive. I don't know if you could see them, but like I've seen some that look like they're two inches wide. They're huge. So that working from home is not completely ideal for me today, but I'm not going out in this. I don't do snow. I just don't. Like, I'll go out and take a cute picture, but I don't go out and drive around in this shit. It's not happening. No, thank you. I don't know, I need to clean the door. It's like blurry shit, but oh my God. So snowy. So I actually had a ton I needed to get done at work today because we are supposed to be having a huge meeting tomorrow with a bunch of leaders from our partners. And if it's gonna be freezing rain tomorrow, who knows if that's even gonna happen. I hope it does, because we've already had to cancel one meeting in the past couple weeks, so I don't want to have to do that again and figure out what to do with all the catering order, but I guess we'll see what happens. Yeah, so I'm just 
chugging away at some spreadsheets at home. And I'll have to get in there early tomorrow morning if the meeting's still on. Oh my God, I swear I just saw the one that was like three inches wide. Snow is insane. Anyway, I'll just have to get in there early tomorrow morning and get all my print stuff done, name tags, agendas, presentations, all that crap. I don't like this. I'm so over winter, I wanna move. I've always lived in this area, but I just don't like snow. I want to live somewhere hot. I'd rather be hot and sweaty than cold and snowy, personally. That, that's my opinion. Yeah, I'm still so blue. It's so strange. Anyway, back to work for me.